Now I will show you another advanced thing. You may put any custom objects into this array list. Okay. Now I will create another array list with new array list and I will put customer instances. We have created customer uh, class before and this customer will be the one inside the inheritance package. Okay. But this time I will refer to this array list with a list interface and this is the correct approach professional approach to refer to a collection with its interface type because this means you are doing a professional abstraction we have talked about abstraction and the advantages of referring to an object with its interface type and the list is java util list class so i am importing java util list Be please make sure that you are not importing the other list package the correct list class is java util list okay and here i will define the type of the objects that I will store inside this array list it is again customer this type is not mandatory but if you don't define the type of the objects inside this array list you may confuse both yourself and the JVM later on and you you may get some exceptions the correct approach is to define uniform objects inside a collection and define the type of these items inside these operators okay here I am saying that only the customer instances will be stored inside this customer list and let me copy some customers from a tour agency class that we have developed before and return back to a list example and put these here and I will add these items into customer list add method let's say customer and let's see the size of customer list it is customer list dot size okay let's see the result it will be one you see it's one and if you want to insert another customer in the very beginning you say add to zero index customer two and after that the size will be two let's see it it is two and let me get the first item here first item of customer list is customer list dot get zero so this will return to string methods result of the first customer and the first customer is customer2 because we have inserted into the first index so customer2 is Josh Holloway and when you get customer start get zero we get this instance this reference and the JVM automatically invoked the to string method of customer class so ID name and surname of this customer class has been printed out let's see why that happened because inside the customer class we have implemented two string method we have overwritten the two string method of object class inside this customer class and inside it we have printed out ID name and surname values let me return back to array list example so what happens if i am trying to find an instance the only thing i should do is customer list dot index of okay and if i am trying to find customer 2 again inside this array list i'm putting the customer 2 reference here and i will get the index of customer and I will print out index of Josh 
Holloway. Let's see if I will be able to find it. You see, index of Josh Holloway is zero. So how that happened? When you are searching an item inside a list, JVM starts from the first item till the last item. And if we are trying to find a searched customer instance, JVM compares customer1 and searched customer with equals to method. If equals to method returns false, JVM goes to the next item, customer2, tries the equals to method inside here. If, if it returns false, it will go to the next item, customer3, customer4. If And if searched customer and customer4 are equal, I mean the equals to method returns true, also, JVM does not go to the next items and return customer 4. So it will return the index of customer 4. That's why index of method triggered a cost to method inside the items inside the customer list one by one. Whenever it's returned true, the search operation has been completed and the index of the found customer instance returned as an integer and after that we may access this customer instance with this index that's why a cool to method is so important inside the customer class let's go to customer class and find the equals method as you can see equals method here and equals method has been overridden by ourselves and it compares the ID of the second instance and the first instance and if the ID values of two instances are same it will return true that's why when we are searching for an item with index of method of list interface JVM compares the ID values of these customer instances. Now let's change the ID values of these customers. After that, let's put another item here. Let's say put to the last index. That's why I'm removing the index identifier and I'm putting customer tree and then customer 4 and then customer 5 and after that I will create a brand new customer instance let's say C it is new customer and it, its index will be 4 and the name will be totally different let's say some meaningless text and gender mail is licensed false okay now I am searching for this customer instance inside this customer list array list okay so let's invoke customer list dot index of so what happens if I try to find C as you can see there is nobody with this meaningless name and surname but according to our logic for two customer instances to be equal it is enough to have the same customer id because our equals to method search for the id equality that's why this method will return the index of the customer with customer id 4 so it will return this one let's see it let's say index of 4 and print out index of 4 let's try it you see it is 3 because this is 0 1 2 3 we got this index so if I create a brand new reference say Natalie and if I get customer list dot get index of four I will get Natalie Portman 
let's print it out you see we got Natalie Portman so the logic you have developed inside the equals method of any class is so important and let's learn about the last uh, method it is contains let's say I want to learn if customer lists list contains somebody with customer ID 4 so I will do that by contain C and it will return me a boolean value is, an, is anybody there with customer ID 4 as you can see we have an item with customer ID 4 so this will return true let's see it is anybody there with ID 4 let's see it as you can see it's true but if I create another customer instance C2 and say 26 and if I search for it with customer list that contains C2 this will return false let's see it I'm searching for C2 inside customer list and it will return false so what happens if I try to find an item with index of method inside an array list let's see it in index of 26 let's say to be clear and customer list index of c2 as you can see c2 is the customer with customer id 26 and c index of 26 value so i'm using index of methods here so i'm writing index of 26 here let's try it you see it is minus one so if the searched item does not exist in the array list index of method will return minus one please don't forget this in the next chapter we will talk about iterator and list iterator interfaces to iterate over the lists see you then